What is up guys, Proudly Small Dragon here from the video on the SBC League, of course, we're on the website right now, and we are about to do our battle. But before we do our battle, we'd just like to show you our beautiful team right here. Before we do anything, I'd like to apologize for this camera, by the way. Um, I have three USB sockets, and three of them are taken up by the headphone, the keyboard, and the mouse. So, live with it. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna get right into the team real quick. I'm gonna show you his team, uh, can I? No, I can't. It won't reach, motherfucker. Oh yeah, I can move it. Awesome. So this is the team right here. We have the Weezing, the Swampert. We have Rotom, uh, Mega Swampert, by the way. Rotom Wash, Gallade, Golbat, Smeargle, Terrakion, Latias, Chandelier, Galvantula, and Regice. And as you saw our team just a second ago, let's show you that thing again. There you go. We have the Victini, and first thing I'm going to tell you is Victini does not match up well versus his team. He has the Swampert, he has the Rotom, he has the Weezing, he has just so many mons I can switch into a V-Crate. And so I went a different route this game. We went Special Assault Vest, Energy Ball, Shadow Ball, Psychic, and U-Turn. And one reason we went, well, I mean, there's only one reason we went Assault Vest, really. Gal Galavantula and Latias can destroy our team. That Draco does so much damage. And Victini takes a... 40% from a Draco, Life Orb, Latias. That is crazy, this bulky little monster. So we gave it max HP, we gave it max special attack, uh, we also gave it a positive nature and speed, just so we can outspeed that um, that Swampert with maximum investment in HP like this. Um, I'm gonna... Uh, nah, we're good like that, I don't, I'm not gonna make HP max. So we're giving a U-turn for the switch initiative. Psychic can Oko Weezing um, and Terrakion. Shadow Ball can do, I don't know, it can do great KO at Latias anyways, and Energy Ball can do a KO with the Swampert. So with any prior damage, the Swampert's dead. We also outspeed it with this with this speed tier here, and um, Assault Vest, oh, takes 20% from a Thunder from Galvantula. 20%! So I can switch in a lot of things, like I can switch into a lot of things with this Victini. Next up on the list we have a Scarf Excadrill, Hard Hat, my man. Um, Mold Breaker, of course, because he, as I'll, I'll show you again right here. God damn it. This thing's complicated, sorry about that. He has the Levitate Weezing, he has the Levitate Rotom, he has the Levitate Latias, all of which we can destroy with an EQ. Other than that, he has the Golbat, which is flying, and that's all. The only thing that's immune. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Golbat's the only thing that's immune and resistant to Earthquake. So I can Earthquake spam if he does not have the Golbat. Um. We do carry the Iron Head, uh, there you go. We do carry the Iron Head, there's not really a reason for that. I mean, we do hit the Regice for that. Um, we also hit Terrakion Super Effective, but Earthquake does that too. And that's pretty much it, just for the possible Regice and the flinches, I guess. Um, then finally Rapid Spin, just because he does have Galvantula and webs are not something we want to deal with, especially when we are speed creeping this motherfucker with one point. <laughs> Um, so yeah, next up on the list we have the Quagsire, Water Absorb Leftovers this time around. Water Absorb because we can switch directly into the Rotom, we can switch pretty much directly in to the Swampert. Barring crits, we can live any ear any Earthquake, anything. And the Water Absorb gives us that little amount of switching, like, possibility of switching in. Um, we're running Acid Spray to beat the Weezing 1v1, so we can Acid Spray and then Scald him, and that'll do so much damage. Next up we have Toxic and Recover, who can... Uh, I'm gonna close my door in a second. We have Toxic and Recover who can just like stall really well, and his team is really weak to Toxic actually, so there you go. Door's closed. So his team is actually really weak to Toxic in that he only has two immunities in Golbat and Weezing. So that'll work very well. We're also bringing physically defensive if you haven't seen that yet. Um, for Terrakion, for Swampert, for whatever the hell else. Uh, we have the Rose Raid Black Sludge Natural Cure. We're bringing this mainly for Aromatherapy and Leech Seed. He does not have a single uh, Leech Seed, not a single Leech Seed uh, immunity, not a single Grass type, nothing. So on the switch, we can Leech Seed get our health back, switch into something and get health back on that too. Leech Seed is just a very good move for this team. Um, Aromatherapy also, he has I think four or five possible Will O Whispers, so we don't want to deal with that. Finally, Toxic Spice because he does have a lot of grounded Pokemon. And his only to his only poison types are flying, so they won't even get rid of our toxic spikes. So that'll do a lot more damage. Finally, finally, move number four. We have Giga Drain on the on the uh, Swampert. It'll do a crap ton of damage. That's it. So we're bringing 40 special attacks. So we can Oko the Swampert, and then we're doing just max special defense, so we can. What is this first sound? 
Alright, we're giving it max special defense so we can just switch right into the Galvantula. Uh, because I'm pretty sure it's coming. Like, it, My team isn't that weak to Galvantula, but my 11 months really are. Um, Alright, next up, finally... Of course, I mean, we have Oxygen. Uh, Rocky Helmet to switch directly into the Thracian. We have Overcoat, so we do not get affected by the Spore on the possible possible Smeargle. I don't see it coming, but it might come. Um, then we have Gyro Ball for the Thracian. We have Stealth Rocks for Hazards. We have Rapid Spin for the Sticky Web, and we have Volt Switch for the, I don't know, Predicting for the Slow Volt Switch. It's always very important. Max Physical Defense, we can take hits from Thracian, and we can take three Close Combats, I think. Yeah, three Close Combats from a... Uh, life Orb Thracion, so that's insane. Alright, last mod on this team, we have the Resto Chesto, Gudra Rest, Toxic Dragon Pulse, and Infestation. We're also running Sap, Sap Sipper, because we do have a lot of grass, um, grass weaknesses on our team, including Empowdon, Quagsire, and something else, I don't know. Uh, Alamo, well, that's it. So we're running uh, Sap Sipper so we can get that possible attack, bo attack boost, even though it's not going to be useful at all with this moveset of Infestation and Dragon Pulse. Um, again, his, his team's really weak to Toxic, so we can take full advantage of that. Dragon Pulse will hit everything for neutral damage. Everything, absolutely everything. And then finally we have Infestation, which can just like trap Pokemon on the Switch. For example, I don't know. Like... I don't know, Just it's just useful for Dragon Pokemon. I also know that you can't make a double Switch on the Infestation, so I can switch out into like... If he brings out a Terrakion, I can go into my... Fortress, knowing he's not going to go for a double, he has to go for an attacking move, so he's going to take that Rocky Helmet damage. So that's our team, guys. Um, yeah, we're about to get into the battle, so thank you for watching, and enjoy. Here we go, guys. He's challenging us. We're going to go ahead and, that. Go ahead and accept that. Week 5 versus Ethan. <sighs> Boom. Alright. Whoa. He has no Terrakion. That is a weight off my chest, oh my god. No Terrakion. He has Mega Swampert. Reg Ice is not at all what I expected. Neither is Golbat. Oh my god. Everything else I have I have switches for. Gallade does get Fire Punch, doesn't it? Um, so I don't really want to slash learn. Gallade Fire Punch. Damn it, it does. Alright. Mmm. So we're gonna go ahead and just post this link so spectators can join it. Good luck, man. This is intense. Um, one person's gonna be leaving this battle four and one. One person's gonna be leaving this uh, three and two. <sighs> we planned so hard. Can we do this? So what's gonna be a good lead here? Um, he does have Galvantula and Latias, both of which we can deal with. With Victini, so that's perfect. I'm so happy he brought those. That's really good. U-turn would be nice, but I'm not max speed, and I can't outspeed a lot of his team. If I start off with Victini, and he starts off with Regice, Latias, Golbat, or Galvantula, we can stay in. If he starts off with Gallade, we can go into Quagsire. We can test if he's banded, and Swampert, same thing, go out into. Okay, we're gonna go Victini, because we can U-turn on. Yeah, okay. This is perfect. We're actually just gonna U-turn because webs. He's gonna figure out here that we're not Scarf, which is just fine. We He's gonna know that we're not Bandit or Scarf if he's doing Calus. <sighs> Alright. And this is also a live guys, I'm sorry, so this might take a little while. Um but yeah, this has to be a live battle, because Primal Ethan is also a YouTuber, and he's going to be recording this battle live. He's recording this right now. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to wait for him to pick a, pick a move. We, the Golbat isn't a huge problem, but that means he has two possible defoggers. So that means we can possibly see a Specs Latias, which is scary as shit. He switches. He switches, that's perfect. He thought we had V-Create. He thought we were going V-Create, that's perfect. Uh, he doesn't have a steel type, obviously. He has a single toxic immunity. Just the one. No wheezing, too. Um, Quagsire looks like a very decent switch in right now. We don't want him getting rocks up, though. 
Yeah, we're just gonna go with Quag's Tower. We're gonna test the waters here. I'm feeling Acid Spray. Maybe Toxic, though. Also, looking at this team, we have, like, Golbat and Galvantula. We can set up possible Leech Seed and, like, Roserade Toxic Spikes and whatnot on. But other than that, we're not doing too good on that. We're gonna go for the Toxic. He goes into Red Rice, that's perfect. Better chance to yeah, my ass. Do you get Freeze Dry? I did not look into that. Um, I really wasn't planning for this, but... Slash Learn, Red Rice, Freeze, Try. Can't learn Freeze Dry. It's gonna go Energy Ball, right? Has to. I can go straight out into the, the Victini right here, right? He might set up a Rain Dance. But I can deal with Rain Dance perfectly fine with Quagsire. We can't let this Quagsire take any damage, though. So. We're gonna go straight out into Victini because no matter what hit he's, he's sending our way, like, I'm pretty sure we can deal with it. Even Rain Dance, even Energy Ball, that's probably what's coming. Um, but yeah. We're off to a really good start right now because we do have the Toxic. We've not taken a single inch of damage yet, and we've gotten that U turn on the Swampert since it doesn't have Leftovers or any recovery. Crit Explosion! Fuck! <laughs> Crit Explosion hit my. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. He crit explosion does. <laughs> I'm not even mad. He thunders. We take that like a fucking boss. Do you see that damage? Oh my lord. And we can go straight out into this Gudra right here. 30 damage though. We're just going to calc that to make sure it's not... Uh, well, just see in his set, I guess. I'm not even going to calc it. I'm just going to open up calc for later. But we're into Gudra now. He knows he can't touch my Gudra. He knows that I probably can't touch him either. You know what would be cool right now if he stayed in and get and got these sticky webs up and I can just infestation toxic stall him. That would be absolutely perfect actually. Mm. His red race is gone. We're just gonna go for the infestation. He's sticky webs, perfect. He's trapped right now. He's trapped. That's perfect. And Dragon Pulse, let's just go ahead and calc this. Um custom set versus Galvantula, you, you lead. Yeah, we destroy him. We, it's not like, like, he couldn't have, he would have lived the Dragon Pulse before the infestation or whatnot, but. We get the Dragon Pulse, he thunders, don't. Thank God. Crit explosion, are you kidding? So that's, that's, that means we, we can't switch into the Latias anymore, though. Because we did take that thunder. Alright. I'm worried now. I'm worried now. We are up two. We are up by two, but we want to six out Ethan. We want to show him who's boss. Um, I'm worried because he has Golbat, and Golbat's gonna be his defogger, right? Obviously, right? And so that means this Latias might be Scarf, it might be like just Life Orb Offensive, I don't know, but it can't have defog, I'm sure of that. It's about to go for a Draco. And we want we can stay in and rest, but that means we're going to waste our Chesto, and if he's straight up offensive... Alright, let's calc. This is scary because he has both, both of his possible defoggers. Let's go Latias, just be a bulky defog. Draco doesn't... It doesn't do much, we can take it, but you also get... I don't fucking know what you're going to go for, honestly. Alright, what about... Droplet, how much do you do? You do half damage to this guy. We're worried. We're gonna waste our rest. Outrage! Alright, nice play. He's trapped though. I wish I had something I could set up. Alright, 5 0. 5 0, let's go. 5 0, let's go. Alright, that is. That is insane. But, I don't understand. I guess he was planning for my AV, Gudra, to switch into his Latias? I don't know. We can go straight up into... Fortress. 
lower damage from sticky webs, that's just fine. Okay, we want to get rapid spin first. Okay, please, one more turn. One more turn. Yes, one more turn. Alright, we get our rocks up, that's awesome. And he gets one more turn of Rocky Helmet too, that's great. Okay, we're gonna actually go calc that, holy crap. Um, Latias, let's just assume you're whatever. Gudra, Droplet. Alright, this is gonna be the weirdest calc I've ever done. Outrage. Okay, it, it should kill. Even if he's not banned or anything. So we're gonna go calc Fortress now, see how much that should do. Outrage, he's banded. He has to be banded, right? He has to be banded. Yeah, he's banded. That's a banded. Oh my lord. Alright, we're gonna get the slow volt switch off. Damn it! Alright, that's fine though. Is he gonna get rocks? Oh, the crit explosion kind of did matter though. Not as much, because he is offensive, but... That's a weird as hell. Oh my god, that's so weird. Earthquake 47, as I expected. Now we can just recover up the damage. Am I scared of anything? Like, he's banded. Banded Latias. He has Leaf Blade on Gallade. Do we, we're just gonna recover. Um... At this range, a crit can still kill, but like, yeah, I'll get a differential. Um, two eighty four. He does get leaf blade. I know that for a fact, and he's definitely going to be carrying leaf blade. He doesn't know. He he doesn't think I know about leaf blade. That's what I'm going to try to play around right now. Also, Victini resists everything he can possibly be bringing. I'm expecting Fire Punch, Leaf Blade, Close Combat, and Zen Headbutt. But he's not going to be banded, right? Because he already has a banded fucking <laughs> Are you kidding me? Alright. Um, okay, let's say your Assault Vest. I don't think you're carrying Knockoff. This does put us in a tough spot, though. Okay. Leaf Blade. <laughs> okay, Leaf Blade does do quite a lot. Uh, Sir Quag. 86. It'll Oko. No, not Oko, but like, it'll. Here's a chance of it. It can do max 101%. I don't want to be dealing with this right now. <laughs> and Fire Punch destroys the rest of our team. Um, Excadrill does Oko it. Holy crap. Alright. There's a Leaf Blade. Now, do we want to expect the fire punch? I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> this is crazy. Fortress. Now, let's test out the fire punch. <laughs> Alright, he is gonna kill. If he's max attack. Which obviously has to be, right? Knock off, damn it. Alright. This means we get to go. Let's calc something real quick. We're gonna calc Excadrill. I'm a really slow player, by the way. Excadrill, Iron Head, does not kill. Meaning we'd have to go for EQ, risking the Golbat to come in. We know he doesn't have Fire Punch, though, right? Hmm. 
played really does put a dent in our team right now. I don't want to risk that gold bat, but if he does go into gold bat to get a defog or something, I can go right into fortress, right? There we go. That's perfect. <laughs> Crit explosion, though. Alright, gold bat. He's gonna flamethrower. This fucking game, though. We could deal with it with Quagsar, right? Right? He's banded Gladios. He, this is a defogger. Let's go for it. There's a roost. Get the acid spray. He doesn't want to stay in. The scald's coming. Oh my god, the crit explosion. <laughs> Burn. Damn it. Whirlwind, that's fine by me. Um, so Whirlwind, Roost, Toxic. He has to have Defog as the last move, it has to be. Brave Bird, he doesn't have Defog. Alright, he doesn't have defog, he has Brave Bird, that's his last move. This Excadrill walls it. He's gonna go for Roost now. <sighs> Alright. Gold Bat left us some physically defensive. Rock Slide's gonna be doing the most damage, but. I'm really confused. <laughs> We didn't miss. You going okay? So he's gonna EQ, right? We can go right into Quag. Take that hit. He gets a crit. Alright. Alright, that kinda. That's really unfortunate. I did. It's not GG. What do you think you're doing? That goal bat is a problem though. Our scarf excadrill can deal with. Yeah. Alright. Going to you. Now Rosary Rosary and Madame Tulip versus a mega swampard. Earthquake does do a crap ton. But if we can Giga Drain this, then we kill him. He's not gonna stay in. I don't believe he's gonna stay in. These two crits, though, that was kinda. Ah. Alright. Toxic Spikes won't do anything at this point. I don't wanna risk the Leech Seed, honestly. Um, there's a gold bat. Here's why I'd like to risk the leech seed. Um, yeah, he's not, he's def defensive for sure, right? So, physically defensive braver, that does a lot. Whoa, up to 112. He's gonna roost now. We get the leech seed. He's gonna go for Brave Bird now. Boom. We get our leech seed, the Rocky Helmet recoil. Perfect. More than perfect. Fuck, someone's calling me. One second, guys. Alright, <laughs> sorry about that. Okay. He's not going to switch out. 
gets the roost now, right? Oh, ooh, perfect. All right, all right. So that goal bat. Hmm. I think we win with Excadrill. That Swampert won't die to the Iron Head, but everything else will. Two Iron Heads is gonna kill the Swampert. It has to. Has to. Excadrill Hard Hat versus a Swampert, Mega Swampert, Iron Head. Very narrow. It's not gonna kill. Maybe after Rocks. There's a chance after Rocks. There's a chance. Stop messaging me. God damn it. Alright. Go. This is gonna be a 1 0, I feel. Those crits did really matter. <laughs> Victini could have done so much more. <laughs> Especially versus the Golbat. He goes for EQ. I can... I can... Mm. I don't know if he's bulky or not. How much damage did Iron Head do? No. What, what did I hit him with? What have I hit him with? I just know what I hit him with so I can like see it set. We hit him with a U-turn. Alright. So, Victini. Sorry about this, but guys. Sorry about this. U-turn. Ooh. He's offensive. Oh. No. What? Zero attack U-turn versus zero HP, zero offense. 16%. But, I did 19. Alright, oh, he wasn't Mega. He hadn't mega it yet. Alright, let's go with a regular Swampert then. Zero. Regular ass Swampert. Yeah, that has to be. No investment. That means my EQ is gonna kill, I feel. as hell oh my god all right this is really tough if I go into Rose right he has to switch on to Golbat right so I get the leech seat up he has to he has to go out into Golbat so I leech seed on his Golbat I go out into the Excadrill he can't do anything to me let's do it let's do that let's do it don't even think about it, just click buttons. He does it, we don't miss, we do not miss. We do not miss yet. Perfect, now he's gonna have to roost. I did not mean to get train. Shit, I meant to switch, honestly. Stop messaging me, please, I'm busy. Oh, I honestly did not mean to get train, god damn it. I feel <laughs> it wasn't even a misclick, I feel like I pressed switch. That's 41%, that's massive. If he doesn't roost right now... 
no point. One flinch, one flinch, and we win. One flinch, easy win. Come on, guys, come on. One little thing of hacks. We're actually doing enough damage to, to like, he's not roosting up enough. He's slowly dying, but, like, come on, one flinch. I need one. <laughs> you guys. <sighs> he has to stay and he has to roost. There's no way he can't do that. Because it's... We win. GG. That was not the play to make, even though I think you were stuck there anyways. So, Excadrill versus Mega Swampert. We, we, we're guaranteed he's not... Um, Mega Swamp... Fuck you, Alarm! This is when I was supposed to wake up to my battle, by the way. Okay. Earthquake is... A, mm. We have to Earthquake anyways, right? Earthquake. GG. Axe City. We're gonna focus on this chat here. We fucking won. 2-0. We overcame... <laughs> we overcame the crit explosion. <laughs> fucking... Oh my god. <laughs> fucking crit city. <laughs> Alright. Alright guys, I'm sorry that was a really long battle by the way, um, I understand if you don't want to watch it all the way through, even though you probably already have, but at this point anyways, if you're hearing me say this, so thanks for watching, I'm sorry I didn't talk very much, I'm honestly very, very in my thoughts and everything, and uh, we won that 2-0, crits, and banded last, <laughs> alright, this was the best week.